Welcome, everybody. Hey, you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. <laughs> to another don't episode. Don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know. Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. All right. We're going to get some payback. Is he going to open the door for me? Oh, of course, I can't open it. Sure. So let's go. Let's go. I want revenge. Right now. Right now. Go with Joe. Mm -hmm. He follows me. Right. Right. Outside. Come on, get in. Okay. Take your car. We're going to get those bastards back for what they did to us. Burning down my house? That's just. That's. That's just too much. All right. So you heard anything about the Mitch lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The Mitch got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desi. Oh. There's a few other guys who want to take He's trying to show everybody. Guys, sir. Insane. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those probably so let's get over there and deal with them. yeah that's the plan sounds like there ain't many of them left so I guess we should just storm the place surprise the shit out of them. yeah like we will plan. assholes burnt my fucking house down relax we'll be there in a minute that's good me yeah. a little shit, bit you're gonna need a piece I almost forgot yeah if you got one that'd be good if not I'll just beat him to death with my bare hands yeah there's no difference to me should be one in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. So, yeah, we're a little bit later on the way now because we had to stop because of some... Because of some... <laughs> yeah, traffic incident incident. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Everybody, come on. Yeah, we're doing God's work. Yeah. We're on a mission from God. They deserve punishment. Punishment. Don't trap. Don't interrupt God's work. Jesus. Damn it. <laughs> no control. Here we go. Take a turn. Take a turn. No, oh, these these guys will get to pay. They will. Hey, 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 hey. Get to pay for what they have done. They don't mess with Vito Scarletta. No, they don't. So this the place? It's the freaking place? Ready, Vito? Come on. Okay. Well, oh, let's what? go get these fucks. Okay. Do we go through here? Yeah, we do. I told you, I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away, but I'll find him. Mm -hmm. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. What are you scared, asshole? Oh. 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 Back me up, Vito. Let's go. Vito. I am backing you up. Someone behind there, I want to see his head. Show your head, buddy. Show it, show it. Ouch, 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 ouch. They teach you that in the army? Taught me a lot more in the army. Not bad, huh? And then there's another one. Somewhere around. Behind here? Ouch. Ouch. That hurt a lot. Okay. Let's pick up some weapons. Do you have some weapons for me? Weapons? Whew. Ah, a little health boost. That is good. We have that gun. It's amazing. Okay. Oh, he's running away. Hey, there's more of them in that car. Let's go to get in the way. All right, come on, you drive. Oh, yeah, I'll drive. Got 
This car, come on! We're gonna lose it. No, we won't. He's shooting nothing. Well, that's good. Oh, this car! It's so tail happy. Tail happy is the come word that was We're gonna lose it. No, we're not. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Don't think they have kind of what, what kind of supercar do they have? What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? Take it easy, I'm in a rush. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, I know how to drive. Let's right? go, Vito. We gotta get closer. Ah, shit, we lost him. Ah, come on, let's just get out of here. Fine, I need a drink anyway. Uh, well, that takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but it don't give me my house back. That was a failure. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have the cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right. Let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I can do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. Okay. That's, that's good. Guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, <laughs> I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Oh, wow. apartments over in Oyster Bay. Okay, that's, that's so good. You feel better now? Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff that got burnt up is just things, Vito. Just things. Hey, those were my things, Joe. <laughs> yeah. I think I do the shit we do anyway. It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. And never fuck a wharf rat like my old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Yeah, I sure Cause hope cause so, man. Fucking half full with you, isn't it? Drop it. Speeding ticket. Jeebus, I knew it. Wasn't paying enough attention. Here we go. We slowed down. We're good. Oh no. Do not. Everybody wants to hit me in this game. I don't know why. It's like the whole world's against me. There they are. Man, I cannot believe I sped like. Jeepers. I sped past him. I don't know why. I was like, I saw the yeah, car. See you around, I guess. Whoops. All right. See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight. Yeah, I saw the car, but still somehow I was like, nope. The map is like, it's not right. I'm not at the dot on the map, but yeah, I was. I don't know. This was ah, it was a failure, but I don't know. Maybe we we're supposed to lose them or. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was like you can catch them or and you can lose them. So maybe it was a bit of both. It just depends how you how you handle yourself. There we go. Oh, what? We're in Joe's car still. Oh. Guess we get to keep that for now, at least. to Marty's old apartment. Poor kid. Still think about him. He was a good kid. He was an annoying kid, but he was a good kid. And the police don't want to be speeding. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a bumpy. That was a little bump in the road there. Bump in the road. No, no. <sighs> I would have crashed so hard into it. <laughs> I wouldn't have turned. There we are. This truck does not want to head on collision with him. That doesn't doesn't end well. Yeah, man. Who's that? Oh, 
Who? Ah, it was behind here, I think. Oh. Do we have a garage here? Mm, maybe this one there? Tires and I think there's a garage. Yeah, we'll just park it here. No, there, it's right there. Can you back it up? <coughs> Whoops. Into a pole. Come on, come on. Park in the garage. Okay, good. We have a garage, of course we have. Let's see what kind of a nice apartment he had. What a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Okay, so not that nice. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, <laughs> so le let's uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> this is creepy. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. Well, that's and good. even though Henry failed to <clears> deliver <throat> on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Okay. New partner, Henry. Hey, Vito. It's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. Going to Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. Huh. That's a band. Okay, so let's grab ourselves a car. Still have our cars. That's good to know. I'm taking this one. My fave. Learn to drive, idiot. Here we go. Have a decent car, the sun is out, and we can drive and see and do all these fun things. Little things. Little. Don't hit me. Keep it. Here we go. Now we got to power. Some speed. Please. Goodbye. Bah, bah. Handles much, much better. The other bloody car. Hello, police officer. I wasn't speeding. No, 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 no. We're at the park. It looks like there are some trees here, at least. Yep. Right around here. Yeah, good park job. Yeah. Hey, here he comes. Hey. What's up? Hey, hey. You know, take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research into Carlos' business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay. So what does this have to do with us? Cause, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2500 bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcone? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you going to buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of um, organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also mm -hmm. a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. 
They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. <whistles> nice. Okay. Well, wow. where the hell are we going to get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark. The Yid over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35 we give him 45 back. Now, that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But, you know, who's going to end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an animal. Of course, Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news. They kill people. Look, only yeah. idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we mm. don't need to worry about that. We do need the money. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, okay. it'll be a piece of cake. Jeez. Let's go see Bruno then. Vito, how about you run us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. Oh, I need a car for three. Jeebus. Ah. Well. Yes, we'll have to find a new car. Ah. I knew I shouldn't have brought it. It's too good. Too good to be true. Well, we're running. Extra! Empire Bay bids to host Olympics! Here's one. Parked very conveniently right here. Break the window. No police around. Nope. Just get in. Get in, boys. Come on. Don't be dummies. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Henry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us? Then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. He'll give us the money. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money from? There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for <laughs> 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? Oh, shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we got to keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Why has guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever? As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. Okay, sounds, sounds okay. Okay, guess this is the place. Seems like a good place. I did a good park job, and it's behind here. I remember that. Let's go through here. And here's the door. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Hiya, Bruno. Hello, Henry. So, to what do I owe the pleasure <sighs> of your company today? I need 35 grand in $20 bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a sure thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Then 45 is not enough. I'd be more comfortable with 65. That's a bit steep, even for you. Fifty's all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. So, how about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. 55, final offer. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me 55000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then... The debt goes up by 10,000. 
every week. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac, prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. Now, you know I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your dad. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. Okay guys, this will be it for this episode and we'll continue this in the next one. So hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time. Bye bye.